Hi, it is Friday morning for Road of October. This channel is Drips Media, and I will be covering financial news from New York stock exchanges before markets open. The regular trading for the U.S. stock market opens at 9.30 a.m. My name is Daniela Drips. I will be quickly covering yesterday's closing data, main indexes, and the key companies. Please follow us online. Good morning. This is Drips Media, lit from New York. Drips Media, the revolutionary digital service that transforms the way you stay informed. With Drips Media, you get real-time news delivered in dynamic short video clips, keeping you updated on the latest headlines as they happen. Our cutting-edge technology curates and condenses top stories. Whether you're on the go or just need a quick update, Drips News ensures you're always in the know, effortlessly. Stay connected, stay informed, and experience news like never before with Drips News. Turning our attention to the broader market, the SP500 also closed in the red, finishing yesterday at 5,699.9. This represents a 0.2% dip, mirroring the Dow's downturn and snapping a one-day winning streak. Tech-heavy Nasdaq fared slightly better, ending the session at 17,918.5. Despite a marginal 0.04% decrease, it also reversed course from the previous day's gains. Now, now let's delve into the performance of some tech giants. Apple saw its shares slip yesterday, closing at $225.70, marking a 0.5% decline. This downturn halts a one-day streak of gains for the tech giant. Meanwhile, Google remained relatively flat, ending the trading day at $165.90. This lack of movement continues a trend of no consecutive gain days for the search engine behemoth. Microsoft, however, experienced a different trajectory. The software giant's shares dipped by 0.1%, closing at $416.50. This marks three consecutive days of losses for Microsoft, signaling a potential bearish trend for the company in the short term. Amazon, a major player in the tech and e-commerce sectors, closed at $145.30, reflecting a 1.2% decrease for the day. This downturn puts an end to a two-day winning streak for the company. Looking at the bigger picture, Amazon's stock performance over the past five days paints a slightly more concerning picture, with a 2.8% decrease. Shifting gears to Tesla, the electric vehicle manufacturer, we saw its shares close at $305.80, marking a 0.8% increase yesterday. This positive close snaps a two-day losing streak for the company. However, zooming out to a five-day perspective reveals a 4.1% downturn for Tesla. Finally, let's examine Meta, the parent company of Facebook. Meta's shares ended the trading day at $350.60, a 0.7% increase. This positive performance halts a one-day streak of losses for the social media giant. However, similar to Tesla, Meta has also experienced a challenging five days, with its stock value declining by 2.5%. NVIDIA, a dominant force in the graphics chip market, saw its shares surge by 3.4%, closing at $122.90. This strong performance marks two consecutive days of gains for the company. Turning our attention to Amazon, the e-commerce giant experienced a decline, with its shares closing at $182. This represents a 1.5% drop, marking seven consecutive loss days for the company, a concerning trend that investors will be watching closely. Finally, Meta, 
the parent company of Facebook, closed the trading day at $582.80, a 1.7% increase. This positive close marks a reversal from the previous day's losses for the social media giant. NVIDIA, a dominant force in the graphics chip market, saw its shares surge by 3.4%, closing at $122.90. This strong performance marks two consecutive days of gains for the company. However, zooming out to a five-day perspective reveals a 1.0% downturn for NVIDIA. Despite this recent dip, the company has demonstrated a strong upward trajectory throughout the year, boasting a 148.0% increase since the year's start. Furthermore, NVIDIA has experienced positive momentum over the past 10 trading days, recording gains on seven of those days. Now let's shift our focus to the financial sector, where we saw mixed results yesterday. American Express closed at $268.50, reflecting a 0.8% dip, which snapped a one-day winning streak for the company. Bank of America, on the other hand, saw its shares edge up by 0.05%, closing at $39.20. This marks two consecutive days of gains for the banking giant. Meanwhile, JP Morgan, another major player in the financial sector, experienced a 0.9% decline, ending the trading day at $205.20. This downturn halts a one-day streak of gains for the company. MasterCard, a leading payment processing corporation, saw its shares dip by 0.1%, closing at $494.90. This marks two consecutive loss days for the company. Morgan Stanley, a multinational investment bank and financial services company, closed at $104.50, a slight increase of 0.05%. This positive close marks four consecutive days of gains for the company. Finally, Visa, another major player in the payment processing industry, saw its shares slip by 0.05%, closing at $276.80. This marks two consecutive lost days for the company. Zooming in on Bank of America, the banking giant saw its shares close at $39.20, a slight increase of 0.05%. This positive close marks two consecutive days of gains for Bank of America. However, despite this recent upward trend, the company's stock performance over the past five days paints a slightly different picture, with a 0.7% decrease. Looking at the bigger picture, Bank of America's stock has experienced a 1.1% decline since the beginning of the month, but boasts a solid 19% increase since the start of the year. Finally, examining Bank of America's performance over the past 10 trading days reveals a mixed bag, with gains recorded on four of those days. Now let's turn our attention to the cryptocurrency market, where we saw some notable movements yesterday. Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency by market cap, closed at $61,293.30, a 1.1% increase. This positive close reversed four consecutive days of losses for Bitcoin. Dogecoin, often considered a meme coin, experienced a significant surge, with its price closing at $0.10, a 3.3% increase. This positive performance also reversed four consecutive days of losses for the cryptocurrency. Finally, Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, closed at $2,385.40, a 0.9% increase. This positive close reversed five consecutive days of losses for Ethereum. Shifting our focus to Dogecoin, often considered a meme coin, we observed a significant surge yesterday.
Dogecoin's price closed at 10 cents, representing a substantial 3.3% increase. This positive performance for Dogecoin also marks a reversal from the previous four consecutive days of losses. However, despite this recent upswing, Dogecoin has faced a challenging month, with its value declining by 10.5% since the start of October. Looking at the year-to-date performance, Dogecoin has experienced a 15.7% decrease. Finally, examining Dogecoin's performance over the past 10 trading days reveals a mixed bag, with gains recorded on four of those days.